Hey guys, welcome to Spelunky. This is a fantastic game. It's also a free game. This is a action platformer Indiana Jones game. I'm not sure if Indiana Jones is the genre, but hey, that's what it is. It's a fantastic little game. As I said, it is free. Uh, and I'm just going through the tutorial here just so it gives me a bit of time to talk about what it is. So, the thing about Spelunky is everything is randomly generated. Well, not everything, I suppose, but I mean, the levels are, and that's really what matters. So, you could call it a roguelike. I mean, that's pretty much what the kids, cool kids would call it. It's a roguelike platformer, if you will. So, basically, the idea is you need to get down to the bottom floor, which is, I think, 16 floors, survive, and get out with the treasures. But in the meantime, you'll probably not make it that far. Uh, every four levels down, the world changes, and yeah, so this is... World 1, if you will. So there's a lot of jumping, a lot of almost dying to bombs and stuff. So, now that your tutorial is over, shall we get into it? Let us get into it. Yay, tutorial code completed! Didn't die! Right, so, as I said, new level. Ooh. There's pots, see those heads? Those are arrow traps. They'll only fire one arrow, and they'll fire it if they see anything come through it. So I'm doing a little bit of a trick and dropping a bomb past them. Ha <laughs> ha! And I didn't waste my bomb, just got to go collect it now. So, as the tutorial said, you can pick up anything while you're playing. So, you know, if something coming, is coming to kill you, throw an arrow at it. Yeah, that'll teach it, stupid bat. Yeah, good job, little Spelunky. Spelunker? I think he's called the Spelunker. He probably does have a real name, but I'm going to call him the Spelunker. Because, you know, it's Spelunky. So... Gotta be careful with spikes, they will kill you if you land on them. Yeah. There's a lot of, not necessarily one hit kills, you have four uh, hit points. And that arrow took away two. Usually most things take away one. Things will take away one, two, or all of them. Arrows will take away two. Touching a monster will take one. Landing on a spike will take all of them. Jesus, this game's terrifying to watch when you know how dangerous spikes are. Alright, and every level it tells you how much loot you got and how many kills you got. With loot you can buy things, oh there's a store on there, but I don't have money for it. No, oh, I'll take another point of... And that is how quickly the game can end. Alright, game two! <laughs> Alright, damsel in distress. She'll give me an extra heart, that's exciting. Let's check that out. Hello, damsel. Oh, there's a spider in the way. I'm thinking about throwing a bomb, but that's probably a bad idea. You can't throw a bomb without igniting it first. Alright, so rope up. Damsels are hilarious. They're the only thing that gives you more health, but they also make excellent improvised weapons. Yeah. I just said that. So there you go. Haha! <laughs> improvised weapon. Although you need to keep her alive to the end of the level. Like, she needs to get to the exit. So, maybe you got to be careful with the improvised weaponry part. Especially when you start using her as a method for uh, unleashing traps. Alright, so she'll get out there. And there's a spider. Now, usually spiders will fall down the second you get underneath them. <laughs> yeah, okay, that damage shouldn't have happened. So, let's see. Oh, we'll just use a rock. Really? Probably should have kept the damsel, thrown the damsel at the spider. But, didn't do that. Spike shoes! Kinda of useless. Spike shoes do make you do more damage when you land on something. And also, when you get to the World 3, you don't slip around as much. Because spoilers, World 3 is ice. Yay, an extra health! And also, I am a hero. Huzzah. Okay. Altar of Kali. I don't have any sacrifices, so I'll leave that alone. As I was saying, you can probably guess this game was kind of Indiana Jones inspired by the fact there's Kali and snakes. Well, snakes are everywhere. But there's also a very big Indiana Jones uh, nod later on. You'll see it. It'll be as obvious as anything when you see it. I haven't watched all the Indiana Jones films. In fact, I've only seen Temple of Doom like six times. I don't know how that happened. You'd think I would have seen more than just Temple of Doom. But nope, Temple of Doom. It's a good movie. 
spoilers, Indiana Jones is in it. Oh, spikes. Oh, jeez. Be careful. So I'm doing the old... I've been watching the game, talking about it. Just FYI. Mm, no, nothing dangerous down there. Get my rock. Yep, because rocks are so good. Always carry around a rock if you can. Oh. Bats. They don't hurt as much as they should, but... Nah. Bats. Alright, that caveman's stuck by a web. It's fine. And you cannot carry cavemen out of a level and use them as rocks. I don't know why I was trying that, but I was trying that. Level 2 complete. Level 3. Oh. Skellington. So, if you manage to complete the game, the game takes about... 20, 30 minutes? It's a very short game. But chances are you won't complete the game for many, many tries. Uh, since I've reinstalled the game, I've died about 30, 40 times and haven't beaten it once. I got close one time. I got close. And then there were bees. Bees. But, you know, I don't think... Ah, avoiding the arrow. I think the game's more about the exploration, just enjoying yourself, than to win. I mean, you want to win, obviously. Um, I've beaten it two or three times total. You'd never know it by watching me here, because I'm quite kind of bad at it these days. Ah, take it away from the caveman. Cavemen have two or three hit points. I think they have three. Yeah, they've definitely got three. Okay, and he can set up traps for me. Good work, caveman. Sometimes I like to throw cavemen on spikes. Just because it's kind of a dick thing to do. Okay, so I have spike shoes and spring shoes. I'm not sure why I can wear them both. I think I wear the spring shoes and then I put the spike shoes on underneath them. That would make sense. Okay, now he's dead. He made the burr noise. When they make the burr noise, they're dead. Funny when it happens to a caveman, less funny when it happens to a damsel. Okay, this caveman is going to be a new improvised weapon. No. Improvised weapon, go! Imp I'll just stand on the thing. Go! Desecration of corpses happens in this game sometimes. Sure, it's not my fault. Uh, another altar of Kali. Not going to touch that. Still no corpses. Or da sacrificing damsels is funny there, but I'd rather take the health. All right, giant spider. Oh, oh no! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Nope. Uh, this is a bad situation. Yep. <laughs> Timing. Timing was everything there. Alright, so shall we go into game three? Let us go into game three. Oh, giant, giant spiders are dangerous. There's ways to deal with them, and somehow I stuffed that up. I play with a controller. Oh, here's the bit that I was talking about. It's a golden skull. Oh, it's a rock! <laughs> I love that rock. It's easy to outrun, usually, but the rock still gets me sometimes. Because, as you've probably heard, you can't stop the rock. You may have heard that. Okay. So, now I've got to take the golden skull all the way down to the exit of the level as well. So, now I've got to... The dame, damsel in distress, whatever. She's going to get stuck there, that's good. <laughs> Uh, you can hurt her with this golden skull, so you gotta be a bit careful with that. The number of times I've killed the damsel in distress with the skull. Too many times. Alright, using a bomb to get through that. Cool. And... Parachute! Eh. I suppose a parachute's kinda good. Snake. Uh, oh, 
My rock. Okay, we're gonna have to go around this hard way. Ah! Spider! Okay, that was possibly worse. Always save the treasure first? No, save the damsel first. Hey damsel, skeleton, deal with it. Good job. Ideally, I would have taken that rock. I should have taken that rock as well, just so I'd have a rock in the next level, but... Oh well. Alright, so i got a bit of gold now, or money. So I might buy the cape. Yep, no, buy the cape. Buy it. There we go. I didn't remember what button it was. So now I can slow fall. That could be useful. <laughs> it's not like I didn't see that trap or anything. The cape does allow you to do some really cool jumps though, like that one. So anyway, Spelunky. As I said at the start of this video, it is a free game. I'll have a link down in the description. I really suggest you check it out, or if you've got Xbox, uh, an Xbox 360, you can buy it on the Xbox Live Arcade. They've got an HD version of this, it looks amazing. Haven't played it, because I'm waiting for the PC release of it. But, you know, I firmly encourage you to play it, because it's a really fun game, and I've heard good things about the HD version. But, hey, this is not a personal recommendation, because I haven't played it. But, yeah, I mean, if it's more of this then I'm sure you're definitely getting your money's worth on it. Because I've spent many hours on this game. Ah, so good. I wish they'd released the HD version already. I thought they were going to release it at the same time, but... Nope. I was actually holding out doing this video until they did the HD version. Um, also, if you want to see more videos of this game, let me know. I'm more than happy to play some more of it and do more recordings, because I loves it. Alright, so we've now we've got a body and a temple of Kali, oh, an altar of Kali. Unfortunately, one caveman body is not going to give me much, or anything. But, you know, points with Kali, Kali never forget. He's like an elephant, that god of murder death. God of murder death, what a great prize. Alright. Oh, going down slowly. Ooh, that bat was close. Yeah, so I'm going to start doing a little few more videos. I've completely forgotten to do my Odin Sphere videos, but I'll get back to that. But hey, no one else watched them, so it's fine, I guess. <laughs> An FTL video will be up uh, sometime in the next couple of days. So don't worry, guys. I haven't forgotten about FTL. Snakes. I hate snakes. Now, you gotta be careful, if you destroy the temple, uh, the altar of Kali, Kali gets angry and throws spiders at you. And that is very clearly a snake pit. I don't like snake pits, they always get me killed. So, I'm not gonna go that way. Except for the fact there's really no other way to go without using a bomb. Although to be fair, there's no way out of a snake pit except using a bomb either, so... Eh, maybe I shouldn't have gone into the snake pit. But you know what? Sometimes there's snakes, sometimes there's pits. And yep, d Oh. And that is the end of the Splunka. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment or whatever if you like. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. And I'll catch you guys next video. Bye.